Hello, once again, this is Marshall. So for today's video, we will be talking about dewatering. Dewater is used during excavations. Um, so now the basic definition for dewatering is the removal of water from excavations. It is the process of lowering the table, the water table, or preventing an excavation from filling with groundwater. Why is it necessary to do this process? It is necessary because, because it allows workers, engineers, labor workers to work in a safe and a dry environment, which will decrease um, construction hazards. Um, this dewatering excavation has different kind of methods. Uh, we could separate these methods into two categories, one being a simple one in which in which these methods are used when smaller small amount of waters are needed to be removed from the excavations, which would be the sim the simple one, and then this method will be the open sump pumping. However, the second category will be where there is higher levels of water to be removed the excavation. So, in for this situation, you will use a different methods. Different methods will be the well points, the etiquette well or the deep well points. All of these are similar are similar to the way that there's two, two vertical pipes, but however are used differently depending on the, depending on where the construction is and then the other factors that involve the soil, the, um, and all those kinds of stuff. Um, to move on, we could talk about the first method, which was the sumps. So this is the most the most common and economic method of the watering where gravity force is used. Water is removed by pumping as it accumulates in the pips, which is centered at the low point in the excavation. If the excavations are larger in area, more sumps can be added to be able to remove the water from the excavation. So over here, I have a small image. I'm going to make it bigger. So this would be a sample of a sump, this eddy watering method. This would be the simple method in which the water is connected and is being extracted to a different location. Okay, to move on, we have the second method under the category for higher amount of water to be taken now from the excavation. So well points methods is suitable for removing water from unsettled and unstable groundwater and can also be used when the foundations are weak or the trenches are weak as well. It is used to depress the water tables. In this method, there are small diameters shadow wells that are driven inside the ground that collects the water in the surrounding area, so the so then it pumps out the water in the verticals, in the vertical pipes. So these are the vertical types of the of the pipe, which are which have a open have a skin opening in the bottom to collect the water and to prevent soil particles from flowing up the vertical pipe into them into the discharged water section. So well points are connected to horizontal headers, as you can see in the top over here. Um, pipes where the water is being taken now into a different place. Uh, for excavation that are deeper than two feet, you could also use two rings of well points. So as I was mentioning this image, this would be um, an image of a well point method in which the two vertical pipes are over here. The opening will be over here where the water is collected from the excavations and the horizontal pipes will be this, where in one side the water will be removed from the excavation and be discarded to a different location. Uh, furthermore, there's a different image in which we have a before what point the watering. As you can see in this image, we have a great amount of water in these excavations. However, after we applied the well point, the watering process, you can see that you can see that the water level decreased because it was being taken out 
to a different location. So this is how the, the, the what point the water system will work, the before and then the after. Moving on, we have the deep wells. So the deep wells are similar to the well point method, just that the, weep, the um, deep well contains submineral pumps that are lo like located surgically inside the site boundaries to provide a dry site for construction and excavations. Um, the diameter is also different from a well point. The diameter in this deep wells are bigger and vary between 150 to 200 millimeters. Um, these systems are employed to lower ground levels. Um, it is also affected in the range of soil conditions from grave to fine a sand. And this system of the watering is capable, to, is capable of pumping out from 10 to 1,000 gallons per minute per deep well. So this is a perfect, a perfect method that we will use when we want to um, when we want to remove water, like a great amount of water from excavation and at a faster time as well. Um, moving on, we have uh, some dewatering percussions that we got to take into consideration. So to avoid soil erosions, the water must be performed properly on the construction site. It is also important to pick the right location for the distort, discharged water. When discharge water, is, when the discharge water is removed, uh, make sure to do, to now pump the water directly into a slope. And also, you gotta make sure that the channels used to establish the methods, the the watering systems are applied correctly. And to avoid the watering, and to avoid the watering methods during heavy raining conditions. Um, we can also talk about a dewatering bag. A dewatering bag is used to remove sediments from the pumped water from the excavation. So these are made of geotech fabric in which it filters water by removing the sediments. This bag is used, and this bag is used insert, is this bag has has inward pressure to provide insurance dewatering. So this is an example of what a dewatering bag will look. This the water basically filters, filters uh, sediments from the water that was being pumped out from the excavation. Um, so overall, dewatering is the process of removing water from the excavation sites. It is very important to perform these methods because as we say, we can, we can start a construction process in, in an area that's wet because the soils and all those, all the soils, will, the soil will be moisture, which will affect the, will, which will affect the, the foundations that are going to be created on top of that kind of soil. So therefore, the watering is a very important process that we need to take into consideration when there is water, when there is watered ground increased in, in some excavation points. So um, I hope you learned and got a better understanding on the watering. Um, because there are also different methods that could be applied to, to different categories. Um, and yeah, so that would be it, the end of my burial. I hope you enjoyed and learned and have a good day. Take care.